Mariah Carey, still a legend whether or not caution debuts on Billboard 200. Mariah Carey has been gracing the music industry with her catchy tunes for three decades, establishing herself as one of the most iconic singer and songwriters of all time. And becoming one of the best-selling female artists ever. From her self-titled debut album in 1990, to her most recent project Caution, the Diva Supreme has managed to surpass Elvis Presley for the most number one singles by a solo artist on the Hot 100 with Touch My Body, and is now only second to the Beatles. She was even one of Forbes' top-earning women in music, conquering the ninth spot in 2015. With 18 number ones and 28 top 10 hits, Mariah's career simply doesn't need any more accolades to prove her five-octave vocal range, or her songwriting abilities to produce a bop at any given moment. In fact, Mariah Carey could throw in the towel and still remain a timeless legend, because she not only blurred the lines between pop and hip-hop, but she also paved the way for greats like Beyonce, Christina Aguilera, and Rihanna. So does it really matter if her 15th studio album, Caution, garners the number one spot on the Billboard 200 Albums chart? The obvious answer to any chart aficionado would be a definite yes, but the soul powerhouse shouldn't be limited by numbers. Seeing that she has broken so many records that the modern artist today could only wish to accomplish a fraction of what she has achieved. Mariah has always been ahead of her time, and that's what has led her to become a household name. For instance, before hip-hop and R&B became the dominant genres in music, the singer had already established a relationship with the genres from the beginning of her career. Elements of soul were seen in emotions and visions of love before she had any major features to add to her already soulful palette. Mariah tapped R&B hitmaker Babyface to assist her with the 1993 album Music Box, helping co-produce and co-write her fourth single, Never Forget You. The record also featured some impressive sample credits, including Blind Alley by The Emotions, Grammy Award-winning R&B girl group on the lead single, Dream Lover. Other noteworthy samples include Synthetic Substitution by Melvin Bliss and Slave's Just a Touch of Love on the track, I've Been Thinking About You. It should be noted that Synthetic Substitution is a famous sample recognized in some of hip-hop's most iconic songs, such as N.W.A.'s Real N****s Don't Die, and sampled in over 94 songs, respectively. The With You artist went on to create the emotional ballad, One Sweet Day, in 1995, with the help of mega boy band, Boys Two Men. Featured on Carrie's fifth studio album, Daydream, the collab went on to spend the most weeks at number one on the Hot 100 ever for a single before Louise Fonsi, Daddy Yankee, and Justin Bieber. Tied for the longest run with Despacito. This is also when she first linked up with Jermaine Dupri, who co-wrote and produced two songs, Always Be My Baby, and Long Ago, for the album. While many consider Carrie a pop star, she began to prove in the mid-90s that she was an R&B and hip-hop artist at a core, paying homage to it at every opportunity she was given. The soulful preface of tracks paved the way for Carrie's future, leading her to work with some of hip-hop's finest, like Diddy, Missy Elliott, Prince, and Drew Hill, on Honey, for Butterfly. 
as well as her guest heavy record, Rainbow, that included Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, Mystical, Master P, Usher, Joe, The Brat, Missy Elliott, DJ Clue, and 98 Degrees. The talented songstress switched it up and went retro with the funky record, Glitter, but still managed to include an array of MCs, Ludacris, Ja Rule, Nate Dogg, Busta Rhymes, and Fabulous on the album. While the soundtrack album didn't receive critically acclaimed reviews, it still performed on the charts, peaking at number one for three weeks on the soundtrack charts. This past week, the soundtrack album resurged when Lamely drove it to number one on the iTunes albums chart and re-entered the soundtrack charts at number 14, making the hashtag Justice for Glitter campaign a complete victory for lambs everywhere. It wasn't until The Emancipation of Mimi that Carrie impeccably perfected the mix of pop, R&B, and hip-hop on one body of work, while also simultaneously bringing soul and gospel components to the project. She once again joined forces with Jermaine Dupri for standout tracks, It's Like That, and We Belong Together, and expanded her list of collaborators by working with Kanye West, Pharrell Williams, Nelly, and Twista. What some consider her comeback album, the 10th studio album, hit number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, as well as the top R&B and hip-hop albums chart. The singer and songwriter accomplished such a perfect balance of pop, R&B, and hip-hop, that she almost created an entirely new genre for herself, and one that no one could ever really emulate. Mariah's relationship with hip-hop and R&B stays true, seeing that she never left the genre out of her music, and or stopped working with rappers and R&B artists to go more pop, to appeal to the masses as many other artists have done and get called out for today. Instead, she spearheaded the movement throughout the years and could definitely be considered one of the most loyal pioneers of the genres. She consistently proves time and time again that the genres are part of who she is and the type of music she's passionate about. Even after nearly 30 years, her discography remains consistent because she doesn't stray away from her roots. And her involvement is most evident in how she single-handedly takes direction with her projects. Caution is a record that showcases Carrie's best, and it serves her so well. Her R&B heavy album is cohesive, honest, and sequential, in a very effective way. Ty Dolla Sign, Slick Rick, and Blood Orange are all great contributions to the project, demonstrating her decades-long loyalty and love for R&B and hip-hop by handpicking artists who are currently impacting the genre. Whether or not Carrie hits number one on the charts, she's at a place in her career where it doesn't really matter if she garners another hit record because her tremendous success has set her up to create music she loves producing. She's at a point where she doesn't have to appeal to the masses, but consistently does either way. So all in all, let the queen make music for her most loyal of fans, but more importantly, for herself. Along with Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey paved the way for pop stars with powerhouse vocals, like Christina Aguilera, Jojo, Demi Lovato, and Ariana Grande. The tight curls, the whistle tone, the iconic shade. Mariah may want to be the queen of Christmas, but she still deserves to be seen as a pop music icon. Whether with Butterfly, from 1997, and Loverboy, from 2001, or Christmas Please Come Home, from 1994, and Miss You Most at Christmas Time, from 1994, she will always be known as a legend, and deserves damn respect for the legend that she is. Wait a minute, we just noticed that this article f***ed up with one thing they said. They said Mariah Carey is a, quote unquote, pop music icon? This is bull because her main genre is R&B, so what they meant to say is, R&B music icon. And more reasons why Mariah Carey is a mother legend is because she paved the way for many, and many of today's female singers and she put elements into R and B that no other singers have done before. Her high vocal range of five octaves and her whistle notes and whistle register are also more reasons why she's a legend. She has a hell of a powerful voice and loads and loads of people are still very impressed by her powerful vocals, which people have every right to be impressed by her vocals because her vocals are very powerful and amazing. 
Mariah Carey is a very great singer and a very great artist with loads and loads of real actual talent. And she did so many and many and many, many great things for R&B music and the music industry in general, to the point where she deserves to be known as a legend. And this was Spear Dude giving reasons why Mariah Carey is a legend. Mariah Carey was one of the main singers that Spear Dude grew up listening to, and she's made so many amazing dope ass songs throughout her entire damn career. And many, and many, 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 many female singers are inspired by her and label her as an inspiration to them. Thank you.